All right, today we are going to take a look at the Middleton area. Middleton is south of the Turnpike. It is south of the Marsh Bend area, south of Sawgrass Grove. It will actually be connected with Sawgrass Grove uh, down Bexley Trail. And it's going to lead over that Turnpike Bridge that we've seen several times, which has the golf cart and the vehicle traffic. This you see right here, Charter School, the K through 8. This is going to be the new Charter School uh, K through 8. They're going to have tons of fields around, baseball fields, athletic fields, football fields, soccer fields. They're going to be a pool, uh, all kinds of stuff. The Middleton area is actually directed toward families. They wanted to create an area in the villages where the families that work in the villages will have an opportunity to go and their kids can walk or or ride bikes to school. Uh, everything's in one central area. So there will be a downtown area and I'll point that out a little bit later. But it will be centered around this and then the residential areas will be right around it. There you see the high school. And then this is one of the residential areas down here on the south side as we turn where this big patch of dirt is here. This is one of the residential areas and then there's several parks through here. And I'm going to be showing you as many as I could find. There's the Mackinac Park. If you didn't know, uh, the families are from Michigan so a lot of the parks and Things like that are named after locations in Michigan. Um, and then a lot of the street names are your village's sales agents. It's their names. They have to sell a certain number of houses or whatnot to get their name on a road. And then that's how they name all these areas and roads. And similar to the Azel Rec Center. Uh, that is after the guy who designs a lot of the golf courses and things like that. If you weren't aware, that's why the Azel Rec Center is centered around golf is because of that. And they wanted to focus on that when they were building the entire area. So they rerouted the road. Actually, they're, they're not rerouting 470. They just renamed it um, when it goes through this area is called Central Parkway and it's going to loop up and around and go all the way across the turnpike where the turnpike is over by the Newell, Lake Deaton and Dabney areas which we've taken a look at in the past. So here you can see actually um, Central Parkway goes right through and then that is the downtown Middleton area as pointed out. I'm still unsure, I'm pretty sure most people are, about why they rerouted or they're rerouting 470, but I would assume it has something to do with the federal prison, Coleman Federal Prison being less than half a mile away from this place. This campus for the high school and for the middle school are both pretty massive. Uh, we'll fly around each one so you can see how it's going. Uh, they did this with them pre-built, those pre-built walls where they prop them up. And so it, it didn't take them that long to prop all these walls up once they got them up um, and into place. And you can see the the roofing uh, that needs to be put into place for the roof to go on as well. It's been raining here quite a bit. This was in the evening and there is quite a bit of clouds over toward the sun which is why you uh, couldn't see that area or it's a little darker. So this up here is Eastport. Eastport is actually what you'll drive through when you drive down Bexley Trail uh, to get to this area. And I'll be outlining some of the things that are in Eastport later in this video. 
Uh, if you are interested in the golf and things like that, I think you'll be excited about Eastport because there's several championship and executive courses that are going in over there. This area here in Middleton will have a resort style pool and they were talking about this a while ago where the villages somewhere in the villages they were going to have almost like a sandals type resort where you have the outdoor pools and swim up bars and things like that and i'm wondering if that's not going to go in to this area specifically I wanted to fly over this bridge because it looks pretty cool and different and this is what's going to connect you to the residential areas over south of the two schools. They also just got approved uh, for the work south of the turnpike, it's about 155 homes I think. So I'm sure they'll be working on that as well. Probably over in the Eastport area. That could be this area. I'm not really sure. And another area that I think a lot of people will be excited about is they're going to have a dog park here over by Lake Harlow Park. So it'll be called the Lake Harlow Dog Park, obviously. But it'll be kind of separate. And that's what they have on the map currently. Everything that the villages does when they develop these communities, even if they put out the area maps and things like that, they can change them anytime they like. So until it's actually built in the villages, and I think this is important for people to know, if it's not built yet, it's not set in stone. They can change anything uh, at any time. So if you're looking at an area and you think it could be set this way specifically there's a there's a chance that they can change things on you and i'm not saying it in a bad light or anything like that but just be a, just so that you're aware they can change things obviously once it's built like the charter schools here they're not going to be moving these they're going to be here but the little minutia in terms of where the areas go or what kind of shops or retail things like that they can change that around uh, until it's built i know they don't like to because it likes to be planned out and things like that but i've seen where they have changed certain areas uh, as they see fit currently they are changing uh, some of the movie theaters the brownwood theater has been closed and so has the rialto the one in spanish spring square i believe that's that one is the rialto they have been closed for quite some time uh, they were using brownwood for covid testing the theater there and then the rialto they were doing upgrades to it and there's a rumor that the rialto is going to be used for uh, the gym the Genesis gym and that they're turning the current gym into a uh, apartment complex now this is Lake Harlow Park that's what I was talking about earlier the dog park is a little bit further to the left kind of on the left side of that little pond there and we're spinning to the north this is also Central Parkway where you see that roundabout right in the middle of your screen there. That is Central Parkway that goes all the way through this Middleton area. And we're going to go over this one more time. I'm going to show you where a few more things are. And I'm going to show you the Eastport area as well. This is the Childhood Development Center, this little building here, Early Childhood Center. Um, it's right along Central Parkway, just north of the two schools, the K through eight and the, the um, high school. There's gonna be another park just north of this, and then Central Parkway, as you can see, goes 
quite a ways out. It's going to go, like I said, all the way up to the turnpike. You can see Eastport in the top left of your screen here. And then you can also see this is the residential area for Middleton. Middleton will bump right up next to Eastport. Eastport looks to me like what they have designed is more of recreation. There's several golf courses, both executive and championship. They have driving range, they have softball fields, and um, quite a bit of stuff like that. It's going to come all the way down here to where Middleton's, Middleton ends and they will bump up against each other. You see the water treatment plant here, kind of right in the middle of everything. And this used to be all farmland, similar to Fenny and those areas. And then you get a better look at the Eastport area here up in that top left. And that's been under construction for a little bit as well. I'll try and get a better video of that, but you can see some of what Esports going to have to offer. And I'm going to leave you on that. We'll take another flyover of the Middleton area. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Always leave a like, a comment. Let me know if you're planning to move to this area or what you're looking forward to. Hopefully they put that uh, lagoon here or in this area or we'll find out soon. And as always, I will see you in the next one.